Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll examine forces and moments for beams. In this example, we have one beam member 120 inches long. It has a joint at either end. Both ends are fixed, and we have a distributed load of 1,000 pounds on the top of the beam pointing downwards. If you right click on the results folder and choose List Beam Forces, then click OK you'll see a list like this. It shows all forces, moments, and torques for each element grouped by each beam member. In this example, we have one beam member and ten elements. We'll click on the option to show only beam endpoints. Here we see a row with red colored text and one with blue colored text. The colors here correspond to beam joint colors of red and blue shown on the beam member. This image expands the force panel a bit and highlights the red and blue joints. You'll notice the shear and moment columns have components 1 and 2. This is the coordinate system in use, so we'll show that. Here, the green axis represents the 1 direction, and the blue axis represents the 2 direction. So you can see the shear 1 force has positive values for each end of the beam. The total load on the beam is 1,000 pounds, so the beam transmits 500 pounds at each end to each joint in the downward direction. The downward direction is in the positive 1 direction of the green axis. You can see the shear 2 values are 0 or close to 0 as expected, so there's no shear in direction 2, which is the blue axis direction. Look at the moment 1 component. It is 0 as well, in direction 1, or the green axis direction. There is no moment trying to rotate around the green axis. Now look at the moment 2 column, which is direction 2 corresponding to the blue axis. The right hand rule interprets the positive moment direction. Let your right hand thumb point in the direction of the blue arrow and your fingers will automatically curl in the direction of the positive moment. The row with red text shows a positive value of 10,000 inch pounds on the red colored joint. So the moment is trying to turn the joint like this. If your right hand thumb points in the direction of the blue arrow, your fingers will curl in the direction of the positive moment on that joint. The row with the blue text shows a negative moment 2 value of 10,000 inch pounds on the blue colored joint. This means your right hand thumb will need to point opposite the direction of the blue arrow to see your fingers curl in the direction turning the joint like this. In this video we examine forces and moments for beams.